In this session, we'll demonstrate how easy it is to get connected with the AC-powered and power sensor-operated flush valve. AC-powered units are normally specified in new construction where floor space and adaptability is not the primary concern. This valve comes ready for installation with preset flow rates, but it's always a good idea to bench test the unit before installing it. When you're ready to begin your installation, slip on the water supply tube and wall flange, then screw on the angle stop. Slide the tailpiece nut onto the tailpiece from the bottom. Insert the vacuum breaker into the top of the tailpiece. Slip the spud coupling onto the base of the tailpiece and position the slip gasket and then the rubber gasket into the base of the coupling. Rest this small tailpiece gasket in the top of the vacuum breaker. Now you can use the tailpiece nut to secure the entire tailpiece assembly to the base of the valve body. Thread the spud coupling onto the male fitting at the back of the urinal or closet. Then secure the angle stop to the flush valve with the nut. Now feed both electrical leads from the valve through the wall tube first and then the wall flange. Thread the leads through the wall and screw the wall tube to the sensor cap. Secure the flange with a set screw. From behind the chase, connect the leads from the valve to the wires attached to the AC adapter, available in single or multi-unit transformer. Either one adapts the valve's power to conventional 110, so now the unit can simply be plugged into a standard wall outlet. With its sophisticated electronics, vandal-resistant design, and durable piston technology, the choice is automatic. The Empower AC-powered flush valve from Moen Commercial.